my god, I think all the horny virgin guys around 30 would get really confused. They <laughs> would. I don't think the female Bistonians would let her in just on press. Oh, no. No. Especially Spearman. She, she's got, yeah, issues. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be a self-honest uh, female in Destiny unless you're practically starved to death and you can, I don't know, uh, you've got your ribs sticking out. That's the way it seems to be, doesn't it? They all seem to be yeah. malnourished and high, basically. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, yes. If you also, want to understand uh... equal money, you've got to be on ecstasy. That's the trick. <laughs> Nothing else. The, the, with the starvation, I noticed that uh, Spamman's doing a whole lot of anorexia. And she's mm. clearly anorectic. She's been counting calories. She even knows her weight from every, I don't know, every month ever since she was 16 or something. Yeah. That chick's older than she looks, so that has been almost a decade. I don't know. And she's constantly talking about anorexia is bad. I'm like, yeah, how many cor uh, carrots and tomatoes did you eat for, I don't know, the greater good today? Mm. I'm serious. She's like, I don't know, 50 kilos at most. Really? Yeah, I've, I've, I've got a friend who's a nurse, and she's she knows how to... Uh, Measure people by looking at them, mm -hmm. knowing what their approximate weight is. Yeah. So, so I uh, learned quite some tricks of her. That Spearman chick is seriously underweight. She is. She's talking about it all the time. I mean, I've looked at some of her oldest videos, or the ones which are up anyway, and uh, comparing them to some which I've seen more recently, you can see that she has definitely lost a lot of weight, in my opinion. Yeah, a lot of them have. It seems to be a byproduct of joining Destiny. Yeah. Maybe they should market Destiny as a weight loss program. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, also, it's a looks loss pro program. Well, I mean, you, you know, join Destiny, get off the pounds, and then once you reach, reach yeah. a certain, you know, level, then you, yeah. you, can, you can you can go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Unless you like it there. Yeah. Lose plenty of pounds, especially within the brain, you know. Plenty of brain cells disappearing right the there. Too. Blood group died. Yay! Greatest bullshit ever conceived. <laughs> yeah, who is, it? who is it? Some guy does that. He, it's, somebody did it. Uh, had sold like a whole series of books about that blood group diet stuff. This is kind of racist. Mm. I think. Uh, a, a little bit. I don't. Also, I think it's 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 really. It's, I, th I think it's really silly, though. Um, I, he's he's recommending for the blood type that is uh, usually most of people in Japan and most parts of Asia have that one blood type. I don't remember mm -hmm. which one. And for mm -hmm. that one, he he absolutely condemns rice and fish, but they should eat just meat, basically. Like you're hunter gatherer, you should eat meat, something like that. Hmm. I was like, yeah, great. Japanese people who used to grow the oldest of all the people in the world because they basically just eat vegetables, rice, and fish. Yeah. And you tell them to go eat at McDonald's all the time or whatever. <laughs> I don't know, eat a cow. They should throw milk in there too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, make like a milkshake with beef in it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the red beef shake. <laughs> just Gross. raw meat in there. You know, don't even bother cooking it. Get all the nutrition, you know. <laughs> yeah. play, play, play some, uh, play some uh, theme songs from uh, Rocky. Yeah. <laughs> While you drink it. Yeah. Someone should run up and down some stairs. <laughs> That's also what I noticed. Disney people are really skinny, but they're not very fit. It's not like they did sports to lose weight. Mm. They just starved and sat in their room and became really pale. You get yeah. really bad skin sometimes. You would think if there was any like um, like value to the self help of uh, Destiny, you know, personal development and such, you'd think that they would actually, um, you know, do whatever. I mean, you know, keep themselves active, um, try and you know help people, try and do like you know, I don't know, even things for charity. You'd think you know logically equal money if it was meant to sh shape the world you know if destiny re really cared about shaping the world they would promote other charities well i say other charities they'd promote charities because obviously destiny just act like they're a charity but they just as you say 
seem to vegetate and, well, fade away like a person, in my opinion, I would say, a person who has a mental disorder. You know, like they've given up on life. I've read this article uh, on Destiny Gossip again where there was just uh, bits of people um, who said how they got into Destiny. Oh, yeah. And I was really confused reading that because half the stuff was, oh, one evening I was totally high and I had been watching videos on YouTube <laughs> on conspiracy theories for like 10 hours and then I met Destiny and I knew this is the shit. <laughs> and then I watched 100 videos in a row and then I was totally mental. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's definitely a way of getting into a healthy organisation, isn't it? Yeah, also, when you watch for several hours in a row something, you're going to believe anything. Oh, yeah. That is the worst thing. If, if you watch the entire Lord of the Rings extended edition mm. with occasional pee breaks, unless you have a bottle or something, <laughs> you're going to believe you're a fucking elf. Yeah. It works that way. You, you go mental when you just expose yourself to one media all the time. Oh, yeah. It's like people who obsess over Harry Potter. And, you know, and they begin to think, well, maybe there's something to this. You know, <laughs> maybe I am a wizard. <laughs> I can't even imagine sitting all through those, all through every one of those movies at one time. I'd probably oh, yeah. pull out my, my eyeballs. <laughs> well, Harry Potter isn't even that well made after the third time watching it. Mm, so I agree. You start seeing the... I could, I could probably handle like the first couple of movies, but after that, watching them in a in a row, I'd, I'd probably just my I, I I think my eyes would start to bleed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it, it has problems. Or more likely, I just go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> in the first movie, there were seven shifts between night and day. We counted, and that was the entire school year. Hmm. Mm. Just like you, you go to bed seven times, and uh, one morning it's uh, the first day of school, and then the next it's Christmas. Oh, no, 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 then the next it's a uh, thing with the pumpkins. Uh, Halloween? Yeah, Halloween. Mm. Next morning it's Halloween, and then it's Christmas, and then it's, I don't know, showdown, showdown with Voldemort, I don't know, and then it's the last day of school. Yeah. Then it's, it's amazing. You're right, actually. Just, I mean... It's just incredibly, like, poorly made. What the hell? It's 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 hard to put to put a book, and I mean, it's it's they're not the best books, but they're definitely more dense in layers than than most uh, young adult and kids books are. Totally, totally agree. It's just she she put very much stuff in there just to make it feel like it's solid. Yeah, it's, it's some good stories. Maybe not as good as Twilight. I mean, Twilight. That's, that's pretty high top. <laughs> fiction right there. I mean, that's, that, that should be on, like, the level for classics. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I know more about the Weasley parents in Harry Potter than I know about most of the main characters in Twilight, because they just were much better characterized. Uh, I just remember Rabbit Teeth. Who's Rabbit Teeth? Uh, the, the girl that played, uh, Bella. Oh. <laughs> What's her name? Uh, Kristen or something? I think it's Kirsten. Kirsten, okay. Or maybe it's not, I don't know. But it, I mean, she has that, you know, she's got a stare, just like a, she's got like the rabbit teeth sticking out. <laughs> and then the blinking. You know. She's, <laughs> like got the, she's got like two or three different facial expressions throughout the entire film series. Actually, I think it's one. <laughs> What was that Rift Tracks thing? Seriously, what emotion are you going for? To me, it just looked nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> How did we get onto Twilight? We were talking about cults. Yeah. <laughs> Went to Harry Potter, and then I, I think I think a twi I, th I think Twilight is a, is an outgrowth of Harry Potter. I mean, I'm not saying that they're mm. that they're alike. I'm just saying that it's easy to get onto the topic from Harry Potter. Mm, I'd say I prefer mm. books usually. Yeah, yeah. Except for it was Twilight. Because I actually read those. Because someone told me I'm not allowed to bitch when I haven't read them. That was interesting. And then after you read them, you found you could bitch even more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I had my red marker for mistakes. And my oh. green marker. And my darker green marker. And my blue marker. And my <laughs> violet marker. <laughs> wow. Must be really dog-eared by now. Yeah, it's my sister's, I don't care. 
<laughs> she, did, she didn't care either. She found the car thing funny that uh, on, on every statistically on every page of the entire book, there's two lines that are entirely focused around what someone is currently doing inside a car or thinking about a car or saying about a car or doing in it or whatever. Well, over here it is kind of a phallic symbol, I think. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why a Mormon chick needs it. 